Hello everybody, I'm Bigatick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband. We're in the middle of a war here. We are a super low leveled army at this point because I gave all my good troops to my new castle. If you missed the last episode, then that's where we're currently at. So, and we uh we barely outnumbered these this uh, army that we're fighting here, like maybe 55 to 50 or something like that. So yeah, we're we're far low far lower level than we've been for a long time. And we're far smaller than we've been for a long time. I also lost all my cavalry. And I hope I didn't lose my good infantry. I had quite a few sort of like, there we go, like a hired blade. Or is, I think that's a mercenary swordsman, actually. Uh, but that that's like the best troop I've got at the moment is this, this mercenary swordsman. So in an ideal world, I kept all of them and it was just some recruits that died. Uh, but we'll have to see after this battle report. Hopefully, though, everyone will have leveled up because of it. Uh, Rolf got knocked unconscious. We lost uh, one Saranid horseman, one Sar uh, Swadian militia, uh, and the others were wounded. So all in all, we did pretty damn well. I'm not going to bother, bother capturing anyone. Uh, I'm not even going to bother looting anything. It's nothing worth looting. Uh, there's a guy here with 44. I have got 51. They've got militia, footmen... Four man at arms and some crossbowmen. I could probably take them if I'm being perfectly honest. Especially with what is about to sort of upgrade here. Uh, we'll get a Nord Footman. We'll get Swadian Skirmishers. They can go to Swadian Militia. Nord Huntsmen can become Nord Archers. Swadian Crossbowmen can become Sharpshooters, which is exactly what I want. Mercenary Swordsmen, Swadian Sharpshooters, Swadian Crossbowmen, Nord Huntsmen. Uh, you move down. I need my, I need my footman in here as well. Right, so we want, ve we want Vega Veteran up above my Nord Footman. Uh, and we want Vega Footman below my Nord Footman. So we go, uh, infantry, archers, 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 infantry, 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 archers, archers. Fantastic. And then Rolf is my only cavalry unit. Uh, I'm actually gonna talk with him. Oh, no, he can stay on the horse. That's fine. I feel like he is gonna get sort of trapped and, and taken out quite quickly. Uh, and Bunduk is technically archers, so that's good, I guess. Uh, I would kind of like to... Are you gonna try and attack me? No, we're gonna walk past each other. That's, um... That's good. Let's head up to Berglin, which is still looted, so I'm not actually going to be able to recruit anyone from there, which is a bit of a shame. Chide is the same as is Norma. Uh, what about Shibitan? To Shibitan looks fine. So we can go ahead and recruit some Swadians from over there. Uh, Hanun. Really? Hanun all the way over here is being laid waste to. Oops, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, there's sweet F4 I can actually do about that at this point. So that is just going to have to be how it is. Uh, I just want to wait for this place to stop being looted so I can check out how it is. There we go. Uh, let's manage this village. They're still building a watchtower. Uh, and it has its messenger post and it's still building the watchtower, which is Nice. Let's go ahead and recruit some volunteers. 13 Swadian recruits. Now we're talking. One Swadian militia. Uh, we can get some Nord footmen. We can get a Swadian skirmisher. We can get some Vagir veterans. We can get some Nord archers. Lovely. We are rebuilding ourselves. Things are going well. Chide is still looted, unfortunately. Talbul over here. Oh, what? Forest bandits. 69 against 47. This is actually going to suck because they all have, uh, have bows and arrows and we're going to be way behind them. Uh, like, we're just going to get absolutely bombarded with arrows. But that's okay. Everyone, everyone come up here. Where are the suckers? Uh, I'm going to get my, my archers here. My infantry. Ford of the Hill. This is my standard battle plan by now. 
If you're not aware of how I play this game by now, you really need to go back. Oh, they're over this way. Uh, okay. Infantry here. Uh, and... Right. You count as infantry. Ah, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, hmm. No, uh, archers. Yeah, archers there, that's fine. I got this one cavalry unit here. Uh, Vega veteran killed by forest bandits. Oh, this is gonna be a sucky fight. I don't like archers. They're easy to kill, but they do so much damage. Like, if you ride into an arrow, oh, it's, it is painful, painful death. Um, right. I'm gonna get my infantry to charge. I'm gonna get my cavalry to charge. My archers can just sort of stay up there lobbing arrows in and hopefully doing plenty of damage. The one good thing about sort of just going up against all these low level uh, groups here is that hopefully all my low level guys will actually be able to level up from it. Uh, or at least that is the plan. Even though I'm doing most of the damage here, I feel. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that... Yeah, I'll, I was like, I'll leave that guy for, for them to deal with. I feel like I'm doing most of the damage here, but that's okay because, you know, I share XP. It's it's fine. Uh, this guy has one lone guy running away, uh, and he got stuck on a rock. So, sucks to be him. Uh, to charge him for a bit of damage, knock him down. Hopefully this guy, yeah, will be able to take him out. Is that it? Is that everyone? Oh, no, there's one more. Uh, but he's going to phase out of his existence pretty soon, I feel. He must be reaching the edge of the battle map there. Yeah, there we go. So he managed to run away. But that's okay, because that still counts as victory for us, which is nice. We lost one Swadian recruit, one Swadian militia, one Vagir footman, and one Vagir veteran. But we killed 43 of them. Bunch of people ready to upgrade. Again, not looting anything because it's just not worth it uh right 13 swadian militia swadian crossbowmen uh we want nord footmen we'll take swadian skirmishes uh you actually need to be above the swadian militia now that i think about it vague veterans three nord trained footmen uh who i will move up Verish. We'll get some vague here. Horsemen. You can sit at the bottom because I don't want just one cavalry. One cavalry is a bad thing. They end up dying. Uh, Nord Archer. Like, seriously, they always die. Uh, and a hired blade who I will move up to the top. Rolf is cavalry. Bunduk is archers. That's fine. Infantry archers. That's fine. Just want to make sure that no one who's actually on horseback... Yeah, you count as cavalry. Want to make sure that no one on horseback actually ends up counting as uh, infantry, which is what seemed like happened last time. That place absolutely hates me, so I'm not going to be able to get anything out of them, which is fine. Uh, Berglin, let's go and make sure that no one is... Uh, no one's been raided, that's fine. No one is going there, we can leave that one alone. Uh, let's go and check Sanuzgda Castle. Uh, let's check Emrim. Do these guys like us? Yeah, we can recruit a couple of volunteers from there. That's always nice. Uh, Yalib over here. Uh, Talwil on Yal Rek. Yalib uh, t have been overrun by bandits. The populace hate me, but I feel like if I do a good deed and get rid of the 40 bandits... They might like me a little bit better. So, everyone chill here. Infantry, chill there. Archers, chill back a bit. And cavalry, follow me. Right, we are going for a run around the side. We've got a nice long line of infantry here. Which is good, which will hopefully absorb some of the impact. We're gonna run around the side and swipe them this way. Oh, that's that's okay. That's that's a lot of people. Uh, my my horse, my horse can't deal with that. Um, well, actually, it's, my horse is doing surprisingly well. Uh, but let's let's run away anyway. At least we've drawn a lot of the fire here, and we should be able to sort of 
pick these guys off. And my sword, my sword armor is so strong that I go through half their blocks these days, which I really like. Uh, like, seriously, they can be blocking and I'll still take them out. Oh, dodging his arrows. Dodging his arrows like this is the Matrix. Oh, horse, horse on horse collision. Horse on horse collision, that's fine. Take out the horse and then you can swipe these guys a little bit easier. There we go. A little bit slower once you take them off their horses. Which is nice. That guy lost his horse, which isn't ideal. Uh, you are actually on a horse. Let's, um... Let's take you off that horse. Uh, you as well. Get off your horse, buddy. Uh, that's a lot of people. I'm surprised with how well my horse is holding up here, actually. I um, I need to give my horse more credit. He's taken a real beating. I did. I guess I did buy a pretty decent horse, actually. So, very impressed with that. Um, I also like the fact that I've managed to basically take half the army here. Uh, I swear I got about half, if not more, of the bandits to, to all sort of aggro on me. As you can see, yeah, infantry, can you go ahead and charge now? Because I've, I've, done, I've done all the work myself at this point. So, I mean, I don't mind taking the glory, but you guys need to level up. You, you need a little bit of experience, you know? I can only do so much for you. You can only learn so much by, you know, by osmosis, by watching me fight. You really need to get in and, and kill a few people yourself. Unfortunately, you didn't get a chance to. I just took out everyone. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, now, please excuse me while I take a quick drink. Ah, much better. Um, villagers offer what little left? No, that's fine. You have that. They still absolutely hate me. But, oh, this is actually one of mine. You leave hate me, but it's one of mine. Uh, a school increases the loyalty of the village to you by plus one every month as the party member. Yes, let's build a school so that they will like me a little bit more. That sounds like a very good idea. Uh, people in the party are ready to upgrade. Swadian militia, Swadian skirmishers, Swadian crossbowmen, Vegir horsemen, Nord archers, Swadian sharpshooters. See, we're, we're already back to a nice, strong sort of team that we got going on. Let's see if we can't take a castle, maybe? Uh, 181 plus 47 plus 9 plus 13. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't doable. That for sure ain't doable. Uh, and Elud is being, Elud is already being raided. That's fine. We can continue upgrading some of our troops here. They get veterans, uh, Swadian militia, lovely. Uh, right, let's find something Swadian that we can actually take. Let's head on over to Ibaran, or roughly this way anyway. Making sure to check on Bergen while we're here. Recruit some volunteers, 17 Swadian recruits. Yes, please. Fan, diddly tastic. That is awesome. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Tell them to inform you. Oh, fine, we'll go. We'll go see the missus if she insists. I mean, I was gonna go and attack a village, but you know, that's fine. Uh, Burglar is being laid waste to. Unfortunately, I've got a lady to go see, and they kind of come first, apparently. You know, in this world, in general, to be honest. Uh, right. Bum bum bum. Let's go and say hello. Oh, I have a new poem to teach her. Uh, to recite to her as well so that's that's always nice 10 to 11 do you like poetry all the silks of beluka all the furs of kudan it is it is droll i suppose although there is nothing that there that truly stirs my soul 11 to 14 though that is nice uh perhaps i can okay it is comfortable to hear comforting to hear that your intentions towards me are honorable so she's saying the same thing but I now, I now have the option to say, perhaps I can persuade you to delay no further. Persuasion opportunity. Relation required for automatic success, 20. Current relationship, 14. Chance of success, 25. Chance of losing one relation point, 75%. Uh, do, I, do I risk a 25% chance on this? Or I guess I should say, do I risk a 75% chance of failure? You know what? I'm in a, 
I'm in a ballsy mood, I'm in a gambling mood, let's go ahead and do it, even though these are terrible odds. Never, never take a bet with only a 25% chance of, of, of success. So let's do it. That did not work. I should not be rushed into marriage with you or anyone else. You have made me very cross. Please leave me alone for a while. I shall let you know when I'm ready to speak to you again. Oh no, she hates me. That's right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, drown our sorrows by hiring some soldiers for the army. Uh, we've got a slave trader. We've got a wandering Ashik over there. We've got another lady we could add to our party. Uh, I don't need anyone though. Right. Moving along. I want to take a castle. I want another castle. Uh, actually, let, how's Hjelbiki Castle going on? Berglund's been raided, you bastards. I can't, I can't protect my own land. Uh, you've got 80, that's fine. Let's see if I can't capture Riablit Castle. 191. 32 man-at-arms. Seems a little out of reach at this point, if I'm being perfectly honest. Hmm. What do I, what do I want to do? Hide blades. We got hide blades, mercenary swordsmen, swadian sharpshooters. Uh, I mean, I could go to like all my um my castles and pick up all my high level troops, but I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, you are not going to raid that castle. That's fine. Uh, is there anything? What about Suno? How strong is Suno? Oh, Suno is actually in a battle. Let's jump in here. Right. This is going to be a slightly longer battle uh sorry longer episode than i expected because we're going to jump into the battle but we're jumping into the battle right archers uh sorry infantry back here archers there cavalry follow me do i have many cavalry around oh, i got a couple that's fine this is a nice looking castle actually here i don't think i've ever fought in fact, this isn't a castle, is it? This is a this is a proper fort. This is Suno. This is awesome. Uh, you know what? Ah, uh, I wanna I wanna send my cab my my uh my infantry in, but that's not the tactics. That's not the plans. I never send my infantry in before my archers have finished firing. So we will we will shall follow the plan. We shall continue uh to do you know the the standard tactics of archers. Can you get out of my way, buddy? Get. Guys, guys, right, cavalry, go away, You're getting in my way, a horseman and a, a Rolf, that's all I've got actually, oh, someone hit me with an arrow, you bastards, uh, oh, Nord veteran archer taken out, one of my guys as well, I don't mind if it's my allies being taken out, but when it's me, uh, my, my team, I'm a little more frustrated by that, but that's, you know, that's warfare, I guess. That's combat. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Wanna take a couple more of these archers out first before I send my infantry up. Come on. Little bit higher on the shot there. Oh, that, that one went way left. Some of these just aren't quite hitting their mark. I've got the sort of the height and stuff right. It's just the uh the dis the drift left or right has seemed to be killing me there we go delivered 13 damage oh you bastards let's uh put an arrow up there didn't quite hit him uh but that's okay get my sword and shield out uh and send my infantry to charge my cavalry to follow me these guys are completely taken out at this point actually which is a little bit rough uh, on all those archers just to make them stand in front like that that's okay. Right, these guys are going to be a little bit of cannon fodder for me, preferably. Uh, and then I'll come in following up behind them. Uh, this looks, looks like a pretty pretty weak uh, army that they've got here. I don't, don't feel too worried about this. Uh, I can sort of just swing my way around behind them and uh, not even worry about blocking at this point. Just, just swing my sword and take these guys out. I don't want to take the high level troops out first. First, it always pays to take out, you know, the, the man-at-arms and the, the knights and the like before. Oh, and the counts. Oh, that is a definite want to take those guys out first. Uh, where did he... Oh, there we go. 
another man at arms was that was that a man at arms sergeant something like that anyway uh, again also take out the the archers and the like because they will do serious damage to you if you let them if you just let them sort of stand there they will cut you to pieces or shoot you to pieces as the case may be uh where did that count go i'm assuming he's already been knocked oh that hurt <laughs> i was meant to try i was going to try and land on the actual um stairs but it didn't didn't quite work unfortunately uh, we have just received reinforcements though which is nice uh let's see if we can't cut down some of their guys down here at the bottom jumping in you know boots and all into the thick of the battle down here have i lost my my cavalry my sort of my cavalry assistance that i was getting i like to you know get my cavalry to, to follow behind me even if they're on foot because they tend to have good armor and good weapons and the like so to have to know that you've got them sort of at your back is is always nice uh but it seems like i l completely lost them here i don't know where they're gone no idea uh i can of course command uh for them to follow me and then yeah you can see a couple guys turned up which is nice let's see if we can't get them to to have our back oh come on I'm trying to I'm trying to take out these guys here oh don't you block it you bastard uh there we go love that oh there is a crossbowman here take him out oh oh look at him blocking good on him good for him he must feel proud of himself he blocked a single one of my shots fantastic now me i'm being shot by some sneaky fucker come on it's this sneaky fucker as well right you're you're going down you're going down and you are also come on come on i keep hitting the wall uh someone else take him out there we go oh no i, I actually took him out that's fine either one last guy <laughs> just one guy standing in the corner like no please don't kill me please i i didn't want to hurt you it's fine but no we'll take him out uh anyone left i'm just gonna go for a bit of an explore of the city uh that's a dead end never mind i'm assuming that there are some people left up on the like the walls way over there because that's where everyone's going but that's okay i shall be my own man i shall wander my own path i shall not follow like some sheep i don't know what i'm saying at this point it's late at night okay it's late at night it's been a long day it's been a long recording session as well huh anyway that is the battle done i lost oh i could have sworn i lost more apparently it was all my allies dying but i could have sworn it was my guys strange anyway suno is now ours which is nice let's see if we can't capture some of these guys doesn't look like we're going to be able to unfortunately that is fine rulins over here rulins i can recruit some swadians lovely uh berglin hopefully by the time i get there it will be unlooted maybe uh the right lords of kingdom all gathering Psh, i don't need to don't need to attend i'm famous enough as it is they'll all be talking about me they don't need to talk to me maybe i don't know we should see uh let's quickly go ahead and upgrade everyone that we can they get horsemen i'll become knight soon which would be very nice sweating sharpshooters right that's that's fantastic we are going to go ahead and end the episode there so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button also don't forget to hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one